Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and I've kept it off for 30 plus years where there should be no hesitation in your weight loss and maintenance. Today we're going to talk about how a thousand little steps lead to decades of success. Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my website which has hundreds of articles and recipes that might be useful to you. Check out my two books and my podcast, The Awakened Man, which has been around since 2017. And lastly, if you appreciate my content, there's a link for PayPal. All right, so people ask me all the time, like how have, how have you kept your weight off for decades? And the mindset is like the mindset of an, of an addict, and many people are overweight because of their, their food addictions or drinking addictions, but it literally, the cliche is so cliche, but it is hackneyed and it's cliche, but it's true one day at a time one day at a time if if i would have talked to myself in 1991 after i lost uh, the 100 pounds and be like hey no pressure you're gonna have to keep this off for decades would i have been able to do it i don't know you know it's not like i thought about it in 1991 oh right you worked hard to lose this weight how are you gonna keep it off <laughs> like, no this is what the whole playlist Reflections of a Weight Loss Warrior is about. Check out that 30 episode playlist about like coping with my weight loss and navigating the next 20 something years of it with dysfunctional eating and dysfunctional thinking and all these things. But if you're at the beginning of the weight loss journey, which I think the majority of you are because I posted that poll a couple several weeks ago, it can be very daunting. We have an episode here on I'm depressed and self-loathing because I, I can't I can't deal with it. I can't do it. And it's completely understandable. I was in that situation as well. I go to the Confessions of an Obese Child, episode 19, where I talked about my suicidal issues. I understand what you're going through. And all I can tell you in the whole existence of this channel is just what has worked for me, psychologically mostly, because weight loss is mostly psychological, is one day at a time. It really is truly one day at a time. If you step back and think, oh, I have to lose 70 pounds. How am I gonna lose 70 pounds? Yeah, I mean, you can get just paralyzed by the, by the prospect. It's kind of like with YouTube content creators, like ones that release stuff daily, and I don't release here on Sunday, but if you had to think of the process, you know, I'm trying to th think of how many, that's 52, that, okay, so it's like three, I, like, I, I gotta do 310 episodes a year. You think that on January 1st, I mean, that, that can paralyze. So, I mean, that's not the best example, but it, it's kind of the same example. So one day at a time. Like there's that belief, make your bed every day before you go to work, make your bed then at, at night. Do all the dishes, put them in the dishwasher or clean it. Keep the house tidy. It's these little things that demonstrate what? Self-discipline and self-respect. And so you want to kind of try to do the same thing when it comes with weight loss. When you wake up, just say, I'm going to do the best that I can today. Part of that is exercising every day and finding time. You can find time. You find time to look at screens. You can find time, even if it means sacrificing other things that you like. Because look... You're overweight, you're not happy with what you are, who you are right now. But for you to affect that change, you have to sacrifice. We have an episode on that. Again, it's like guys and girls who think, oh, I want a girlfriend. They're just gonna knock on the door. The supermodel's gonna knock on the door and there she is. She's gonna like me for who I am. No, hard work. But the hard work is less hard work if you think of it one day at a time. So for example, little things. Get your exercise in. Don't be watching television while you're exercising if you're on the elliptical because you're just going to go slower. Put in the fast music. Go all out. Same thing with weights. I see guys at the gym, girls at the gym. They're just like watching YouTube and then they're barely doing weights. No. I mean, be 100% focused and mindful on what you're doing. When it comes to fasting, yes, you should be practicing some sort of intermittent fasting, some compressed eating window. It's the same thing, day in, day out. If you're overweight, there should be no cheat days. We have an episode on that. There's no cheat days. 
because one cheat day, it's, 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 it's like an avalanche, right? First it's, well, this is my cheat meal, then it's a cheat day, then it's cheat three days, and then you're just like, well, I haven't lost any weight, so I'm just gonna give up. Well, why do you think you haven't lost any weight? When it comes to the actual eating, don't drink your calories. This is one of the foundational episodes we have here. It's a waste of calories. Don't drink your calories. Throw out the alcohol, that's calories too, plus it destroys your body. Try to eat a paleo-inspired diet where if God didn't make it, don't eat it. So that means when you look through your pantry, we have an episode here how to clean out your pantry and what to put in, same for the fridge. You shouldn't have a lot of processed foods because processed foods, not to mention all the preservatives and food dyes and, and artificial sweeteners and, and corn syrup sweeteners, they're just high in calories and low in nutrition. Since they're high in calories, they typically don't fill you up. This is why you should try to go low carb with a lot of healthy fats, a lot of animal products. But either way, you look at the end of the day and you try to do the best that you can in terms of how you're eating, how you're working out. And then some days you're gonna be very successful. Some days you're not gonna be as successful. But just like if they tell you marriage, divorce is death by a thousand compromises and death by a thousand cuts and all these things, uh, you, you can see from a positive perspective that weight loss is truly a daily thing. There should be no excuse for your sleep. You have to get at least seven to nine hours of sleep. Can you lose weight with less? Yes. But as a whole, there's nothing that should be keeping you up past 10 p.m., even 9 p.m. I am in bed at nine. Probably because I'm an early burn and I wake up sometimes at 4.35 o'clock, but I'm an early bird. And since I, you gotta know your circadian rhythm. If you know you're an early bird, then you need to get to bed early. You gotta release your stress, relieve your stress, release your stress through, through working out and, and saunas and these things like this. And, but you gotta keep your stress down. Just eradicate all the stresses in your life as much as you can. It's these little things that make a difference. The sleep, it's a little thing. The daily fasting, instead of eating, breaking your fast at 10 a.m., you push it to noon or push it to one or push it to two. When you have to make a choice between, I don't know, Cheetos and blue corn chips, or if you have to make a choice between uh, uh, breaking your fast with milk chocolate or 90% dark chocolate. Again, these little choices. Oh, but it's so much sweeter, I like milk chocolate. But these little choices, it's an accretion, it adds up. So guys, remember in closing, success is truly a daily, if not, if you look at it, the, the true alcoholic, an hourly success. You take it one hour at a time. And some days you're not gonna be as successful. But like we talked about in that episode, every day is a new day. Even if you don't have that successful day, you have a new day to start over. And like, what else are you fighting for? You're not happy with the way you are. You're not happy with the way you look. You're not happy with your, 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 your life right now. Clearly you know this, so you want to affect the change. So then make this change a priority because there's nothing more important. Obesity shortens your life expectancy. Obesity is still a social stigma. I don't have to you know, go through the litany of reasons why you want to lose weight because you know you want to lose weight. Then yes, put on your big boy pants. It's going to be hard, but what else do you have better to do? Stew around and self-loathe? That's not good for you. That's not going to lead to overall improvement of your life. So just one day at a time, one hour at a time, little successes, little steps, and that is the key to long-term weight loss and weight maintenance. Guys, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.